this show is special because this is the kind of show that I really needed when I was 11 years old. It was the kind of show that I really needed when I was 18 years old. It was very important for me to have neurodivergent actors. From the moment my publisher picked up the phone and said, there's some TV people that would like to talk to you, I said only if they're going to cast autistic actors. Mark. <laughs> Do you want to put it here? Is yeah. that okay? Yeah. Okay, cool. A beautiful thing um, about autism is that when you meet people, you don't really you don't really have small talk. Small talk doesn't really exist. You kind of um, go on like a level eight of friendship. You're like, oh yeah, great. Like this is my life, and this is everything oversharing. And you, and then the other person is like, yeah, me too. And then you just feel like you've known each other for years because you've literally overshared your entire life to each other, which I think is such a beautiful and amazing thing. We're so open and so generous with that. I think it makes you ten times more in so many ways. In the way that your brain works, you can feel what people are going through, you can see what people need. There are so many superpowers that can come from being neurodiverse, so like, just know, like, embrace that. With me, Lola, and Georgia, it's, it only helped connect us, and I think that's why we have such a strong chemistry and like bond as sisters as well, because we have that luxury to kind of be so open around each other from day one. It's been really great <laughs> working with them and not having to mask around them. I've learned a lot from both of them in the way that they are unashamedly themselves. And I think all of us have taken a lot from this and having people whose brains work in the same way has just been something that's really warmed me. You know. <laughs> I've never felt more me. They've helped me learn how to be more me. They're just the most understanding, empathetic, deep human beings. Lo I mean, they're, they're my sisters now. Okay, nice and quiet, still rehearsing. If you've ever felt on the outside, you understand what it feels like to kind of not fit in. We have to deal with it maybe more often and, and maybe in more extreme ways because we have more extreme you know, difficulties fitting in with the society that we're in. This is Boo. You shouldn't have to mask who you are. A lot of autistic people, uh, myself included, tend to be very much people pleasers and slipping into those sort of tendencies is not always a good way to look after yourself. When you're masking um, and you're autistic, that actually, like, there's nothing wrong with your behaviour, but because it's forced and put on and because we're watching and observing and maybe there's, like, a delay slightly in, in how we interact with people, it's very obvious to a neurotypical mind that there's something just a bit off. And so when it comes to people projecting, it's quite an easy target because there's nothing wrong with us, not in their head consciously, but we just seem a bit different. My advice would be to surround yourself with people that bring up your energy rather than dragging it down. We see it every day with people interacting with us and kind of saying things that they think is going to help and oh. actually just makes it ten times oh, worse. Number one on my list, number one on my list. Like, you don't seem autistic, like, congratulations. Yeah, I get that so often. It's oh. like, oh yeah, I, I, could never have, I could never guess, I would never have told that you're autistic. So like, well done you. And it's like, no. I know that comes from a great place where you're trying to make me feel good, but that just undermines every person that's autistic. As you go forward, uh, you'll find obstacles, but as does every other person in the whole wide world, and you can't let that stop you from doing anything. Whether you are diagnosed, not diagnosed, whatever, if you feel like you're on the outside, it's amazing because then if you're on the outside looking in, what an amazing perspective of life you have. It's so exciting to think that we're part of something quite radical and quite historic and then we're telling a story that's not been told before and we're talking about a point of view that's been suppressed for a very long time and I think that's pretty special. I think making a little bit of history is very special.